All right, I am so happy to be here. This is my very first attempt at my YouTube channel, and I am thrilled beyond belief, but I can't get into that mode of being super, super excited and happy because what I've got to tell you, what I want to talk about is so passionate that if I lose it, I'm going to just, I'm going to like start talking about fairy tales and rainbows and all that shit. And I really just want to say one thing. Listen, I'm single, but that's not what this whole thing is about. I'm not going to be single for long. And there's a reason for that. And it's because when I meet you, if you haven't fallen, if you haven't gone through shit, if you think you're perfect, then I don't want to have anything to do with you. This life is about the shit that we, that we fall on. If we fall on a rock and we don't get it, and then we fall on a stone and we don't get it, we fall on a mountain we don't get it, we fall off a cliff we don't get it, then we haven't grown, we haven't learned, we haven't learned any of our lessons that we need to learn in order to get through this life. So I'm single right now, and I really want to date somebody, but I'm so sick and tired of everybody trying to be perfect, and everybody thinking that they're perfect, and then presenting their, their perfect selves. Show me who you really are. Show me that you've been through shit. Show me that you've hit a wall going 99 miles an hour with the cops chasing you, and, 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 and falling flat on your face when the judge wants to send you to jail for a couple days. Let me see that side of you. Let me see the real side of you, because if you haven't been through it, I, I, that means we're gonna have to go through it together, and I don't wanna go through it again. I've learned my shit. I've done so much. I've done, I've fucked up so many times. I've done some stuff I've been embarrassed about. I've done some shit that I sh never even told anybody, which I will eventually come out and tell you on my YouTube channel. That will be worth waiting around and watching all the mistakes that I'm making in the very first one I'm doing right now. But it's like this. It's like I'm not looking for the perfect man because the perfect man doesn't exist. If he does exist, if he does exist, then he's not perfect. Because you can't be perfect without going through shit. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that all the bad that I've gone through, all the things that I've done that have embarrassed my kids, that have embarrassed my family, that have embarrassed me, that have been true or not been true, have taught me something. They've taught me to be humble. They've taught me to be strong. They taught me that I don't actually know what I think I do know. You know, this could be a timeline thing too, because I'll tell you this, when you're in your 20s, your 30s, 40s, 50s, it's a whole different game. Your 20s, everything's, you, the 20s are so great because you get to think that all your energy is really going to pay off. Everything that you're gonna do and everything that you wanna be is going to actually work. And you know what? You've got a really, really good chance of it working out. Then your 30s come along and you start going, well, okay, so I don't really have that much energy that I had when I was 20. And I still think that I can get it done and, and, and get my life together. And, and I've still got the energy and I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to go after my dreams. And that's cool. And then 40 hits. 40 blows your life up. 40 has got to be the worst age ever in the world because you know what happens to you when you're 40? You think you know everything. And when you think you know everything, that's when you get in trouble. When I turned 40, I thought I knew it all. When I was 41, when I was 42, 43, 43, there was nothing you couldn't tell me that I didn't already know. The greatest thing that ever happened to me when I was 49 was I turned 50. Because when I turned 50, you know what I realized? I didn't know shit. You know, I was talking to a girlfriend of mine the other day because I have a birthday coming up. It's a big one. Not the birthday that's coming up, but it's coming up to a big one. She turned 60 and I said to her, all right, so, you know, the 30s, you're this, the 40s, you think you know everything, the 50s, you realize you don't know anything. What are the 60s? And she said, mortality. And I just went, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's so cool to think you know everything in your 40s, 
and it's pretty enlightening when you're in your 50s and you realize, shit, I don't know anything. But when you hit 60, and all of a sudden you start to realize that your life is almost over. Now, there are you that are watching this that are 70 and 80 and 90, and thank God you got there. I'm hoping to get there too. But when you hit 60, there is no buffer between 60 and 70. And when that 70 comes along, if you ain't got your shit together by then, you might as well just go jump off a bridge. And I don't mean that you should go jump off a bridge. I, I don't mean that. But I just metaphorically, you should jump off a bridge. Because I'm telling you, like I started to say at the very beginning of this, I'm single. And I want to start dating. But I don't want to meet you if you're perfect. Because if you're perfect, you haven't been through it. And if you haven't been through it, then you're going to take me down with you. Because I'll love you and I'll follow you. But I'm, but I'm smart enough now to know that you can't be perfect. You can't. I certainly am not perfect. I was perfect when I was in my 20s. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I was so beyond perfect, it's not even funny. Then 30s came. I was kind of still pretty perfect when I was in my 30s. Then 40 came, and then I totally thought I was perfect. I mean, who wouldn't? Everybody thinks they're perfect when they're in their 40s, and then 50 hits. So this new birthday is coming up, and I'm looking for somebody, and I'm looking for that man that isn't perfect. And I'm looking for that person who has fallen, who has embarrassed themselves, who has embarrassed their family, who has learned that running smack into a wall at 99 miles an hour ain't such a good idea after all. You know, all we have is this one life. And all we have are the people that we have in it. I mean, you know, sure, I know this person a little bit, I know that person a little bit, and there's a handful of people that I really know. And those people are the people that mean everything in the world to me. And what I do affects them. And this year is really important for me in doing what I do to affect them in the most positive way that I possibly can. Because now that I'm 50 something, almost 60, I still have a little room of not knowing. And it's a beautiful thing. One of the things that I do know is that when I meet you, you better not be perfect. Because that means you haven't grown, and you haven't fallen, and you haven't learned. And if you haven't learned, what are you here for? Because that's all we got. That's all we got, all we have. Money's great, money's absolutely wonderful. Does it make you happy? Yeah, it does make you happy because it takes away a lot of shit, a lot of pain, but does it fix things? Yeah, it can fix things, but is it the end all beat all? Is money the end all beat all? Would I rather have a trillion dollars or a relationship with my daughter? I'd rather have a relationship with my daughter and not have a penny to my name. So we're here to learn, and we're here to grow, and I want to grow with somebody. I don't want to be alone anymore. I've come to that realization that being alone is for the birds. I want to fly with somebody. I want to be a flock of seagulls with somebody else. So welcome to my world, Tawny Katane's world, here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for listening to what I had a rant about. I know my set's not all set up right, and it's looking a little shabby, and all the Birkins are like are hidden up above all the Chanel and Louis Vuitton, but we'll see all that stuff later. I have a really good manager I'm working with. He knows what's going on. He'll set me right. <laughs> Other than that, again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in. And if there is such a thing as subscribe, subscribe. I don't even know. I'm just shooting this right now. Thank you.